You stop your alarm, hit the snooze, and drag yourself from bed. As the clock ticks, you realize you are running late. You rush to complete your morning chores. You pack your bag, while stuffing toast down your throat and making a phone call. You drive in a hurry and reach work just on time. Some people have a hurried morning routine, while some others approach their morning with a lot more grace. Have you realized when your morning starts in a hurry, the rest of your day follows similar chaos? If you start your morning well, the rest of the day follows suit. In short, your morning usually sets the tone for your day. Doing the right things in the morning and avoiding the bad habits will make the rest of your day pumped, peaceful and productive. Therefore, you must spend your morning well. In this video we talk about 8 morning mistakes you should not do in the morning when you wake up. But before we move forward, if you are new to Recite channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell. 1. Checking your phone in bed. If you asked us, what should you not do first thing in the morning, we would say using the smartphone. But what is the first thing you do in the morning when you wake up? Most people slide their hand under the pillow, pick the phone and check what did they miss. You scan Instagram, Facebook and other social apps to find out who reached out to you and what people are doing. Such behavior is now ingrained as a habit for many. When you start the day by looking at your phone, you crave to check what you missed each morning. Also, your day starts as a comparison with other people's lives. It dampens your fresh mind which could otherwise be used to accomplish fruitful things. Tristan Harris, co-founder of the Center for Humane Technology said looking at your phone as soon as you wake up frames the experience of waking up in the morning around a menu of all the things I've missed since yesterday. Such a mincet impacts your productivity the entire day. We also spend time in the morning browsing, checking news feed and reading news articles. Morning time is precious, and wasting them on such activity can be avoided by not checking the phone first. 2. Snoozing. Many people love to snooze two or three times before waking up. Some people even account for the snooze when setting the alarm. For example, to wake up at 7 a.m., you set an alarm at 6.45 a.m. to allow two snoozes. Snoozing gives us the relief of having to sleep some more when the alarm sounds. Little do you know that when the alarm sounds, you are alarming your heart. When you snooze a couple more times, you add more alarms. Every time you snooze, you jolt your heart a little. To save your heart from this trouble, set the alarm to the exact time you want to wake up. Once the alarm sounds, turn it off and get out of bed. 3. Leaving the blinds closed. You may not like the sunlight creeping into your house during the wee hours of the morning. However, this sunlight has many benefits. Your body expects sunlight in the morning. Light works as an indicator to signal the start and end of a day. Your body follows the day and night cycle based on the availability of light. At least your body learns so due to evolution. These days, artificial lights have disrupted nature's way of identifying night and day. Irrespective of the cyclic rhythm of the body, morning sunlight helps fight diseases, strengthens bones and prevents inflammation. Leaving your blinds closed might give you a feeling of a prolonged night, but you miss out on the benefits of the early morning sunlight. 4. Getting out of bed instantly, or laying there for long. Some people roll around in bed for a long time, while some get out of bed in an instant. Neither of them is good for you. Waking up abruptly does not give your body enough time to adapt to waking up. The way your body and mind works, when you are asleep versus when you are awake is a polar opposite. When you wake up, your body needs a few minutes to prepare for the awakened state. You do not have to lie in bed for a long time. Two minutes in bed serves as enough time for the body to adapt. The internet is full of rumors about increased heart attack stroke due to waking up abruptly. However, such claims do not have any medical sources yet. You may not have a stroke, but give your body a couple of minutes to settle down. On the other side, staying in bed for too long can urge you to stay for some more time. For example, if you have been in bed for 10 minutes, you feel like staying for 5 more. Chances are those 5 minutes extend to another 15 or you might even fall asleep again. Waking up 2 to 5 minutes from the time you woke up works best. All you need to do is sit up. Once you have sat up, you have won the battle against sleep. 5. Starting your day at random. So you decided to wake up early, and you did wake up too. You have an hour of extra time, so what do you do? You go about it at random. You do what your mind tells you during that time like thinking about random things, reading the newspaper and watching a YouTube video. 
By approaching your morning at random, you fail to use your mornings effectively. You do not have to use your morning, as per some written rule. All you need is a decent way to use your morning time. Do something which helps you improve and grow. If you do not wake up early you might wonder what to do when you wake up early in the morning. Here are a few things to do to transform your morning and make it fruitful. Do something you are passionate about. Work on your long-term goals. Work on a side hustle such as blogging on your topic of interest. Plan your day. Learn a new skill or improve your area of expertise by taking an online course or reading a book. 6. Eating sugary stuff, coffee, or skipping breakfast. A hormone called cortisol is at peak levels when you wake up. Cortisol makes us feel alert and awake in the morning. Drinking coffee during this time is equivalent to watering the plants when it is raining. Over time, drinking coffee will lead to your body developing tolerance to cortisol, and you will need a coffee to keep you awake and fresh always. Drinking coffee after 10 a.m. is advised by the experts when your cortisol levels have reduced. What you eat makes a difference to your day too. While a croissant, donut or a smoothie tastes yummy for breakfast, you are better off avoiding them. Sugary items are not bad per se, but they do not do enough justice for the calories you intake. Sugary eatables have a chunk of their calories in sugars which are broken down by the body as glucose. Sugars are easy to break down, and your body is quick to absorb them. Therefore, sugary items release a burst of energy which your body does not need. Such sugary food does not keep you energized for long. Complex carbohydrates such as cereal or whole grain food are digested by the body at a slow pace over a few hours. During the slow digestion, energy is released little by like like your body expects it. As for breakfast, people have different views. Some people believe skipping breakfast helps them lose weight, while some others believe that eating breakfast boosts their metabolism which helps them burn more calories. None of these theories have proof to generalize them. 7. Reading emails. These days people feel the need to read emails now and then. Since most people have their emails configured on their phones, checking emails is only a few taps away. So people read emails outside their work hours, during weekends and vacation. Reading emails has today become an addiction. People feel the need to check emails many times a day. Ask yourself, how many times do you check email, because you are expecting an email? In most cases, you are checking email due to the force of habit hoping to find an email to entertain you. Due to the habit formed, you tend to check your email as soon as you wake up. Once you check your emails, your mailbox dictates your day. You jump from one email to another, performing tasks that others are asking you. You forget your own goals, dreams, and passion. 8. Avoid needless decision-making. Do you remember searching for a good hotel for a long time on the internet and not finding one? When you finally found one, your head felt heavy and exhausted. You felt tired because making a decision consumes energy. Keeping your morning simple helps you avoid fatigue incurred due to decision making. Avoid breaking your head on what breakfast should you cook or what clothes should you wear. You do not have to wear the same t-shirt every day as Mark Zuckerberg does. But that doesn't mean you try three different outfits to decide which one suits you best. Pick something which you look good in and start your day. Use your morning time for action instead. Make some progress towards your long-term goal, learn something new, or improve your skills. You have the whole day ahead to do the rest. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Tell us in the comments about your habits in the morning.